Hi guys, Sean Darling here. I just had a, a cool uh, thought about liquid shapes and I wanted to show you uh, kind of a cool idea. So check this out. Okay, so I had this weird idea, but it's something I kind of saw before, but uh, a different way. I just wanted to show you guys how to make a really ridiculously simple arm uh, or leg in Moho using using one of their interesting techniques, liquid shapes. So just first of all, I'm on layer one. I'm just gonna create a rectangle here. And I'm gonna create another rectangle out here, just not laying on top of each other so we can um, mess with them a little bit. And I'm just gonna make a point here and pull this one out a little bit here. And then of course we can come in here with our curves and just get those a little more nice and curvy. Now it doesn't matter that I have these the uh, same size or not, and I'll show you about that in, in a minute. All right, so let's just make sure these are shapes. We're gonna go into the shape, create shape button. I'm gonna select on the shape here, and I'm gonna create, and we're gonna make sure that it has stroke and the other. We're gonna go in here and make sure that we created that one as well. I'm gonna come back here in the select shape and turn the stroke on for both of these shapes, first of all. Now, the shapes tool um, is where you need to apply the liquid shapes. Um, and it's like a Boolean function in other software. But remember, we are in one layer here. This is the same layer. So on these layers, the first one will be just using this right here as a normal layer. The second one though, we're going to use its blend here or its add here. And there's also this blend percentage here and that will decide how much you want it to sort of blend or bleed into the other shape. Now let's just try this. I'm gonna grab my points for this particular shape I'm gonna move it over and as you see, when I, when I lay these over the top of each other, they blend together, which is really, really cool. And I was like, you know, that could be used for a lot of different stuff. Now let's go back to our shape selection here. And on that one that has the blend applied or the, the combine applied, we're gonna up the blend percentage. Let's go about, you know, seven or eight now and when we move it over the top of the other one now you see this sort of blend happening so obviously this could be used for a lot of cool stuff and I'm going to come up with a couple smaller tutorials today for something like what I'm thinking about next so basically if we bring these together they adopt a blend of each other um, and we're just going to overlap them like so you can already see what's happening here, can't you? Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just come over here to this layer one. I'm going to right click it and group with selection. Now on here, we're just gonna call this arm just to give it a name. And you'll see these are all one now because they're in that arm group. If I select down layer one, you can still move these uh, individual if you select their individual pieces. But here on the arm layer now, which is uh, on top, we're gonna right click it and make it a bone layer. Convert to bone. And we're gonna do, we're just gonna draw two bones. So I'm gonna add one here, right about to the middle, I think it was there. And we're gonna add another one here. First things first, turn off the bone power. Just go to your bone power there and just minimize it all the way. And we're gonna come back to our layer and we're actually gonna select uh, with our bind points tool, the points that make this up. So I'm gonna zoom in a little farther, so this is a lot easier to see for you and me. And I'm gonna select the bone I wanna use right here. And I'm gonna select the bind points tool. 
and I'm just going to select the points I want. Now remember, you don't want to select the ones from the other one, just the layer and not that final one either that uh, these particular points are going to come from. I do want to include this point here just in case. Yep. And then I'm going to go to bind points and bind it there. So now we're going to do the same thing with the other bone. I'm going to select that bone with this bone selection tool. We're going to go to the bind points tool. I'm going to make sure I have these ones in the back done. And I'm going to select just those from that layer. Now you can click tab once you have one selected and it will select all the rest so if i select these and hit tab it selects everything in that layer just a little trick to remember but once those are all selected you go to bind points and it will bind this uh those selected points to this bone now i'm going to go back to my bone layer and i'm going to manipulate the bones here and you can see that this creates an arm um not a perfect arm uh, but you can you can definitely create a perfect arm this way uh, and and that has to do with the overlay with my points but how easy is that so and I'm going to take these points now just to correct this a little bit just the ones that are kind of in a weird place and I'm just going to move those you know back closer to the others this will make a lot more sense when they're you know not sticking out too far from each other Go back to my bone layer now and manipulate again just as a little correction here you can see how much better that's working if you want to use um actions you know bone actions to to make this even better you can but it's that simple and just a little additional um thought here what if we wanted this arm to now be in a bit different shape or different uh, shape or size you can easily do that just add a couple of points here now and uh to your heart's content any way that you want this will always blend together so just grabbing this bottom piece you know if you want you can move this layer still look at that and it will still blend now it's off your bone you'll have to move that but this will blend in any way shape or form that you want it to and you can even change the the shape of say this bottom one a bit you know make that flare out a little more into that shape whatever you want to do and we come back to our arm layer here manipulate the bones and look now you have to do a corrective shape for that but look at that it still blends it still works that's absolutely amazing isn't it so just something to think about when making limbs this is a great way uh, to do it and if you you know don't like the way some of these shapes are hitting or moving it's so simple and easy like I said just to come in here and and change that so let's just grab this one now just as a little addition of what I'm talking about now this is gonna flare out still but you can make it not do that just by pulling these points back in a little bit you know and making sure that it's revolving around this point you can move this out here to get those a little more flared in you know and then when we go back to the the arm layer here zoom out slightly and you can see that this will work perfectly and all of this is animatable so you know nothing's uh, ever overly permanentized I mean you are you are free to edit this uh, change this however this needs to be done and that's all with liquid shapes cool all right guys thanks for watching talk to you soon We're gonna learn animation and moho and animate everything in moho. It's easier than 